Okay, welcome back to Rikitik DevOps. I'm going to demonstrate GitLab again, but the online one, particularly the GitLab.com, so that you don't have to deal with the administration of GitLab CE and with certificates. So if you are a developer or just uh, a DevOps, you just deal with the uh, with the uh, development and the pipeline you don't have to deal with the uh, administration system administration um, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the the agent again the agent is uh, very convenient right you don't have to deal with with token on each uh, of your project and with my previous uh, video before I just demonstrate about the the runner which is particularly this one right so the problem with this one this is just per per project and right now I think uh, GitLab disable it you can enable it if you have uh, your own GitLab CE right um, I'm going to demonstrate the group runner so that not only one repository can 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 use the the runner but a multiple one, this one. Um, I'm going to deploy it on the open ship uh, and it's still, it's still uh, running. So the open ship is fully started. Again, if you want to see my uh, open ship uh, deployment, it's on the other YouTube or video and but I'll explain this a little bit. So I have the script here. Um, it's just basically put put the cube admin password, log into cube admin, uh, create a shortcut to to the worker SSH and and master. It's only one, right? Worker and master, and then create a podman. And then you basically paste it here. And then you can check who you are you must be a cube admin so the first thing we need to do is to create the the agent so just basically just create the agent and it should just basically have that uh, folder right so that gitlab agents with s if doesn't s it will not work and then the name of the agent what which i just name it agent r right now and then inside that folder is a config yaml which is just uh hi access groups id uniwin ux1 it means that this gr main group will have the capability to access all the repository underneath it all, all the thing underneath it will will have will be able to access it but so if you create another group in parallel say group 2 or uniwin ux2 uh, you need to create another uh, an agent for that one. So once you created that, you go to the operate here and Kubernetes clusters and connect cluster. And then since the name is agent R, when you search here, you will see the agent R name. So that's the name of the agent. And then you click register. And then basically you copy this. You don't need to save this one because you can create this one multiple times. And then since I copied it, you just basically paste it here and then press enter. And then you wait a little bit. One, two, three. You close. And it's connected. So so meaning you, we are connected already. Let me just uh, open the OpenShip uh, browser on the... On, 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 on the offline op so that it's faster okay let's install the the group runner so the group runner uh, as I said it can be uh, used by multiple uh, repository instead of putting it to the one particular repository that particular rep repository can only use that Again, so the repository is on the on the main group, of course, right? And then 
on the build there's a runners here and you create group runner and let's say uni runner and uh, we don't check untag or post or protected so just create runner and it's selected by default linux and the important thing we need to do here is this one the token which is uh, we need to put it here um, i have a copy of the jbm here so if i go to jbm and then code that just go to OCP and you need to put it here but before we can create the runner uh, we need to do a little bit of we need to create an RBAC2 which this one this means that the we will create a role that have all the super ac super access right anyway once we created this uh, runner no one will touch this one anyway and then that role should be bind to the default so let do all see apply app and uh, are back to oh I haven't created a project So it should be created in the administration here, right? It should go there, get lab runner. Roles didn't create. Oh, we are in agent R. That's why. So it's there. And then the next one is... Um, so we need this com, uh, config toml. Uh, somehow with the uh, old update, this one doesn't work anymore. So I had to remove the user 1000. You know, in <coughs> in OpenShift, it's, it's not 1000, right? It's uh, 1068. It's a long one. So OC apply config toml. So this these are the the settings. This is the key in uh, in the runner to be able to have uh, if you have your own certificate that you want to be trusted, and and so many things. The, there's the, the the key in 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 GitLab runner is the config toml, and then we also need the cer certificate. Uh, this is the certificate of of this one which I download I download this one I put it there it's already download but let me show you again uh, yeah so it's the same right CB CL CL on the end so that's it so we need to create a secret for that. Create secret, create secret, create, OC create, <coughs> secret, generic, and let's name also getlab.com and then from file. And there's supposed to be the TLS, CRT, that's the type, and the name of the, the file. Since I'm on the current uh, folder, I don't need to, to put path, path here, right? So just directly put the name. And it say created, it should, should be here in the secret now, right? If you check that. So TLSCRT and you rebuild it, it's the same as that one. And then the next one we need to do is uh, we can create the GitLab runner, but this one will fail, right? Because there's we don't have kind of runner right now. We need the operator to be able to have the. Oh, I already I already have it, right? So basically, let's let me remove this one. 
and install it again so you search the operator GetLab Runner and we select the certified one install and we'll let's install it the OpenShift operators project those those will be uh, the <coughs> the other destination like like if, if if it's a bolt operator or argo cd and then you can take a look at it if it's running so it's running fine let's go back to our project GetLab Dev. so we can run the GetLab runner 2 now yaml GetLab runner, right? So, yeah, it's getlab.com, the CI here. And then, the, let's see if I put the, the correct one, huh? right? It's the correct one. So, it should create now. So, our, it's uni runner. It should be the same, the one we selected previously, right? When we we're creating this one, that we put uni runner. Uh, so you can execute it and let's verify so the events it download the images it pull it properly and then there's no error and then we can view the, uh, the runners here and it's a uni runner uni runner and then we can do uh, you can do the pipeline now so let's edit this one in there right so let's verify again if uh, if we have the the agent still running I hope I didn't delete it so it's still connected right so we are good to go so the one we will run here is just a simple one stage test agent it's uni runner there's a artifacts that it will go to build library and then uh, it's just basically get the context set the context to the one we created is uni win ux group and then the agent is agent r and then show the cube config and then apply the deploy deploy yaml and then the deploy yaml here is just a simple nginx okay so what we can do is uh since we didn't change anything uh let's just uh delete one line and say update and the pipe the, the the pipeline should should trigger right so the good thing with i think 16 right you can put it here on the top say if you want also the the editor you just click the pin item here so that it will be there and then you can see here that the runner is running and it's trying to to run it right now <clears throat> And it's not that bad, right? It's it's uh, getlab.com, but it's running on my on my CRC or OpenShift, and it's already executed. Let's see the the logs. So the logs just get the context, and then switch to that context, and then show the cube config. Of course, it does, it doesn't give you that token. And then there's nothing to upload, so it's just supposed to be. In general, it still succeeded, but the, there's no files. The pipeline is expecting a, an artifacts, but it's still a good one. You can ignore that error. And then we can see that the engine X is running. By the way, I didn't show you that engine X, right? So the engine X is uh, the deploy is just this one. So basically, HTTPD 8080, right? So if we go to the uh, to the routes, we can create a routes right now. 
and then say my uh, my rote and then we select the nginx here and then this one and then let's not make it secure let's make it simple and then we can click click the the, the route and it's there it's running so yeah it's 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 very simple to 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 run online you don't have to worry about you know uh, getting more resources disk memory cpu you can use the online one it was broken before and then it, it just get picks so i guess the the get lab is working on it but if you cannot run unfortunately you have to run the the ce um okay guys so thank you for for watching and uh, we're growing we are almost uh 1000 plus uh, subscriber and please don't forget to to like it as well and click the notification bell ciao